Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back after another spectacular week. Last week went 5-1 and one last week in a really good week. Um, let's get into this uh, today's show. Diego Pacheco. Uh, Diego. Sorry. Diego Pacheco uh, versus Sean McCallman. Uh Interesting fight, intriguing fight. Not a lot is known about McCallman. There's a bunch of tape on him. You can go find it. He's fought on a couple of cards, untelevised portions of PPC's cards. He's fought on one of those overtime cards on zone. Uh, not a ton out there on him, but you you can if you're looking for it, you can find it. Um, but before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all from social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money, bringing down. Uh, bring down the house, uh, make money betting on the sport of boxing. Also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also find it on the banner below. Uh, just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you everything that you need. Uh, it gets you ask the bookie anything. I'm losing my brain. Ask the bookie anything. Uh, you can request uh, a video. You can request a fight. Let me know any any fight you want to break, any fight you want that I haven't done a video on. Let me know. I'll show you how to make money on it. Um, also, you get a free T-shirt. Just five dollars a month. There's a ton of perks. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, let me pull this up here. Losing my brain here. You grab my notes. Diego Pacheco, obviously tall, 6'4", 6'5", stupid middleweight, long, rangy. He can move. He uses the ring. He uses his jab and, and his movement to circle. Keeps the space. He's really good at range. He's really, really good at range. This has the makings of a boring fight. I think this is going to be incumbent. on Pacheco to really force the action because I don't think McCallman is going to press the action at all. He's sharper. Pacheco is, is better on every level, and, and that explains the odds on this fight. Really sharp from long range. Nice, sharp jab. Really nice rear uppercut. He, he throws better combinations. Really good counter puncher as well. Good body puncher. His jab is what he uses to measure everything. Everything comes off the jab. The jab isn't all that he has, but it sets everything up. Decent movement for his size. Like for a guy who's 6'4 and long, he's a pretty good athlete. You know, he's not hyper athletic or anything like that, but he moves pretty well. He uses the ring, good footwork. He's a good finisher. So he puts his shots together well. He's a really good, Diego Pacheco is a really good, complete fighter. On top of that, like I said, he's a pretty good athlete. Sharp skills. He can make you miss. Defensively, he's pretty good. He, he can make you miss. You know, a lot of times these tall guys are just stationary targets. He's not that. He's pretty complete. Not a huge volume guy. Neither one here is going to really light the copy box numbers on fire here. But he, he commits to his shots. He throws hard shots, and the shots are fairly accurate. He's very accurate from long range with his power shots. He's, he's good. He's offensively above average and defensively above average. He's a very good fighter. He, he has the makings of a world champion. Now, if he gets there, you know, who knows, but he has the makings of, of a world champion. Sean McCallman. He's a decent fighter. I, I don't think he's a world-level guy. He's got good skills. You know, he knows how to fight a little bit. Not hyper athletic, but you know, kind of the same realm of athlete that Pacheco is, but he's not that, the same height. Again, decent speed, not blazing speed. He has not fought that level. The best name on his resume is probably Vaughn Alexander. It's the most recognizable name. Though he's fought a couple of decent opponents, but nothing nearing the level of Pacheco. Likes the counter punch. He's a, he's a mover. He's a back foot guy. He's a uh, counter puncher, mostly jabs. Works works off the jab, makes you miss hits and pops out you with a jab. Not a real combination puncher, not a volume puncher. He doesn't have a ton of pop. And there's just like he's good, and there's things that he does well. Just none of it really 
takes place on the world class level. Counter puncher, back foot guy, mover, can make you miss a little bit. Got good reflexes. And his reflexes is like the best thing that he's got. Slick movement. He can switch stances too. He fights a lot in southpaw stance, fights in the conventional stance too. He knows how to fight. It's just not at a world class level. There's not much power. The space, the speed's not blazing. It's not like he's Pernell Whitaker defensively, although he can make you miss. He he's decent. He's just I think he's really, really reaching here. And again, you go through his resume, there's not much there. He had trouble early on in some fights. He won them all. But a guy like Diego Pacheco, I'm pretty sure absolutely destroys it. I'm not sure why they're giving this guy this opportunity. Maybe he can make the most of it. I, I see this being fairly one-sided. He's not super slick. It's not like he's going to sit there and frustrate Pacheco. Pacheco can frustrate him just as much as he can frustrate Pacheco. It's just There's nothing he does well enough to win this fight, in, in my particular opinion. And, and he's not a bad fighter. He's just not. There's levels to this. And, and right now, he's certainly a level below. All right, let's pull up the odds. Let's see how we make some money on this fight. Of course, because I'm an idiot, I have the wrong fight pulled up. I was looking at this fight, too. We'll be doing that video probably tomorrow. Or, uh, but let's take a look at this fight. Pacheco, Sean Coleman, money line is huge. I'm confident in this. You can make this two times. Pacheco's winning this fight. A two times bet is going to make you a $14 bet. I'm going to make you 14.28. We could definitely, when the props come out, when the odds come out, we can definitely look into him stoppage. I, I do think there's a very good chance that Pacheco gets the stoppage. It may be worth it, depending on what the odds are, to pick Pacheco by stoppage. But that's something we can definitely come back at. If you want to join the Patreon, we'll look at that in depth. It's just $5 a month, and we'll decide whether or not, when those odds drop on the stoppage, whether or not it's worth it to put the money on the stoppage. Probably will be, but we'll take we'll make that assessment when the odds come out. Um, Diego Pacheco minus fourteen hundred, easy money. Lock in the profits, take the bet. Diego Pacheco wins this fight. He's another level or two above Coleman, who's not a horrible fighter. Uh, but that's the bet. There's no props here. There's no over under. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, showing you how to bring down the house consistently, make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, we always use DraftKings. Uh, also, join the, the, the Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also find the link below uh, in, in that little banner. Uh, Five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week, which we always make money on. It gets you. You can ask the bookie anything. I'll handicap any fight for you. I either have that video for it. I will show you how to make money on it. Also, you get a free T-shirt. There's a ton of perks. Uh, link is in the description. Join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. It's the best way to so support. And uh, it is April first. Happy April Fool's Day, I guess. Twenty twenty four. From Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.